beautiful, man. I can't get over how pretty these fish are. What's up? I'm in Maryland. I didn't plan on filming a video and just been kind of driving around all day looking for a lake to fish. And I, I have to film this lake. This just, it doesn't look real. It does not look real. The water is crystal clear. And when I like walk over here to the end of the dock, I'm not sure how deep this is, but I'm gonna guess that's about 20 feet. And I can see everything down there. I don't even know if I know how to fish a lake this clear, but I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm gonna bring you guys with me just cause this is, I can't not show you guys this. This is unreal, unreal. So this just, this blows my mind. I have never seen water this clear or this deep. I just passed a 200 foot deep section. And right now I'm probably like 20 feet from the shoreline and it's still 30 foot deep, but like right here, it drops down to like 130 feet. It's insane. I've never fished water this clear before. But like I said, I didn't plan on filming a video today, so I guess I'll give you guys a quick update. So I came down here to hang out around Deep Creek with this lovely lady. She is the one that I came down to the yacht to see in the last video. And uh, I didn't really plan on filming anything. I brought cameras and stuff just to kind of film some cool stuff while I'm down here. But this lake it doesn't even look real to me I, I know i've already said that probably like 10 times but it, it just i can't not share this so i don't even know where to begin or how to fish this lake i've never fished a freshwater lake this deep or this clear i mean keystone's pretty clear but this is insane the water just looks it's like that color I don't even know how to explain it. So I'm gonna take a minute and re-rig some rods. There's something that might work here, which I don't even, don't even know what that's gonna be yet. I guess I'm gonna start with a worm cause that's just kind of my go-to. And uh, I'm gonna see what I have. Probably one of these guys for the clear water. Um, but yeah, start there. So what is this? Was the Kristen Jenner Jennings Lake? Jennings Randolph Lake. Jennings Randolph Lake. Jennings, Jennings. or Jenny? Jennings. Jennings. Okay. So all right, all right. Jennings Randolph first cast. Give me a bass. so quiet here mm -hmm. so we went we were on deep creek this morning and it was just like five million pleasure boaters going like 80 miles an hour and they're just like lake erie style waves so this is 
this lake is like 10 times more beautiful than Deep Creek, if you ask me, and there's nobody out here. There's like two boats. Blows my mind. I just wonder if I'm actually going to be able to catch anything here because this is so new to me. I like just can't wait to see what a bass out of this lake looks yeah. like yeah. with water this like crystal clear. No, even if it's not big, I don't care. I just, yeah. I bet the colors on them are so beautiful. Or they're either like, they're either super colorful because it's water's so clear, or they're really pale because they're used to being at like 200 feet of water. Oh, I feel like it's gonna be one or the other. Is that how you drop the pink one? No. By the way, guys, the, the pink princess is is a goner. She uh she came off the boat this morning. Back home. The purple princess over here just ended her ended her her run. Yeah, I'm stuck on this tree. I got a bite. No, no. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Now I had a bite. Oh. Had a bite. There's a bass that wants to eat. Dragged the sucker right on by him again. Sorry, I just kind of kicked you out of the back That's of the boat fine. for a second. <laughs> Throw right down in here, okay. like right to the right of me. Just let that sucker sink. There's a guy, there's one down here. All right, let's look around. I want to roll to the back of this cove and see what okay. this looks like. We gotta find a unique spot. I would choose to do this while the waves are coming in. Mm. What do you think, pal? We'll get one by our this time. I got it. I'm not I'm not hesitating when you drop things now. Just grab it. Yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, there's fish down here. We're gonna have to Look at all the fish right there. Off that. Oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> I kind of want to turn us around. Am I on a fish? I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. I see him. I nice, see him. Nice, nice. Oh, he's fighting. Nice. Woo. Oh, and he swallowed the hook too. Oh. Tight. Tight. Oh, I haven't seen something in a while. Yeah. Oh, that's an easy one. Um, tweezers that are in there, the pliers. <clears throat> Beautiful fish. Yeah. Look at that, the colors are just insane. Insane. 
lets you go home. There he goes. There he goes. Ready. Cool. It's on. It's on. Okay, maybe try to work it a little faster. Okay. Throw it out there, let it sink, and just kind of like twitch it back to you. Sun's getting warm, it's like right there. I know. I know, that's the only bad thing about this spot. Got one. Nice. Oh, he wanted to come up and jump, but he didn't. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so hold that thought. Okay, yep. Nice. Come on, come on, buddy. Stay out. Stay out, from, stay out the motor. Watch out. Cool. Number two. Sweet. Look at his eyes. Yeah, small mouth. They have the bright red eyes. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. We got on a little pocket sitting on this branches, what looks to be like a landslide. It's actually, now that I look up from sitting here, it's kind of sketchy to be sitting here. But man, to catch these beautiful fish in this crystal clear water, ah, oh, it's like a dream come true. Oh, so awesome. Okay, let's get you unstuck. And let's uh let's tie a worm on for you. Okay. I have a few bites. I'm gonna actually if I can get you unstuck here. Whoop. Whoop. Let me uh, throw this over here and see if they'll bite it. Because if they're going to bite this, I'm going to leave you with it. If you catch a smallmouth that size on this light rod, it's going to be really exciting. <laughs> You want to fish this let me show you show you how i'm working it so throw it out let it sink a little while oh. <laughs> thanks wind but how you want to how you want to work this mm -hmm. is uh keep your line tight and just like slowly move it and then give it like a twitch oh, yep there. he's falling it right now That was a that was a little one. So all right. So drag it along and then twitch twitch. Mm -hmm. Reel up a little slack. Twitch, twitch. Okay. Just like that. Should I just drop it in? I would uh cast out over this way. Cause they're sitting they're sitting where this drops off. Okay. So like right around here. But I I had one hit it like right in there, yeah. So you can't go wrong with that. Oh, I thought, he, I thought he was on it. Came back for it, came back for it. Got him. Oh, 
Yeah, pull on it. There oh, we go. Nice. Oh, he's fighting. Whoa. He's dark. Yeah. A lot darker than the other ones. Huh. Oh, three. Beautiful, man. I can't get over how pretty these fish are. Whoa. There he goes. <laughs> Save them from the deck. Yeah. They've been doing that to me a lot lately. I don't know what it is. Get out of here. Right. You want to fish a worm? Either way. It's, you got to kind of be on it. Like when you feel them nip at it, you got to. Yeah. You gotta set the hook, because if you don't, that's when they, they swallow it. But I'll try, I'll give you a fatter hook, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, so how you're gonna fish this, you're gonna throw it out, let it sink all the way to the bottom, and like virtually don't even move it. Because okay. <clears throat> the way this is weighted, the weight slides on the line and what will happen as you cast it I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck your hook pretty good there so you don't get snagged that much so like the weight will land on the bottom right here mm -hmm. and then the worm will just kind of float around like behind it mm -hmm. and every once in a while I'll give it like a pop to move it along but you really just want to let it sit on the so bottom. bottom. Yeah, just let it sit on the bottom and let the current do the work of the worm. Okay. See how that weight goes ahead of it? Yeah. Look, there's already a yeah. fish. Watch, right here. <laughs> That's a bluegill. <laughs> He's almost got it. Can they swallow? Is it too big for them? Yeah. He might try to get it though. He might. <laughs> He's like, yeah, too big for me. <laughs> Let me uh, get back up here in a good spot. Just let it sit. Oh, oh, it was the baby bass. I feel like he had a hold of it for dear life and just couldn't. <laughs> Just came off. Like so That's such a big worm. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a big one. Straight up. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Wow, I was just like vertically jigging for him. Yeah. That robo worm. Oh. All right, I'm not catching any more out of here. It's your turn. Is that number four? Yeah. Number four, this is the fattest one yet. Solid two pounder. Love it. They're like cold. Okay, I'm not catching any more out. Pull, 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 pull. It's not on. Oh. <laughs> Looked like it. Looked like it was. That means you gotta watch your butt too, Byron. Oh, I gotta put that motor down. Or up. Down, up, up, down. I don't know. I don't know left or right or up or down right now. <clears throat> All I know is I'm on the most beautiful lake I've seen yet this summer and I've caught four smallmouth and uh, we need to get her one. That's the mission. That's the mission. All right, Byron, go up there. Spread the weight out. 
his little body. You saw the difference. Alright, where should I go? Go to the left of that little tree. Just let me up here so I can get this down and boop. Really? Okay. That was an interesting sound you just made. It's like, what? <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> it's cool to watch him come up like that. Yeah, he just popped right out. Easy, buddy. Easy. He like hit that on the move. Yeah. It's like, oh, blah, blah, snack. <laughs> See ya. A little bluegill. Yeah. It's like we're fishing in an aquarium. <laughs> it's so cool here. It's crazy. Two of them, three of them, four of them. You see them? Where? Oh, right, right here. Oh, my rod's oh yeah. Wow. There's a whole bunch. Look at that. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> Do you want to catch a bluegill? You want to catch one of them? Oh. <laughs> I've had so many opportunities. First cast, I had you on like a five pound bass. What's that? It just hasn't happened. It's really light lore, so it might not travel very well. How low should I go? Not that low. All the way to the flow. <laughs> all right. I'm going to bring you back over here where all these guys are camping. I'm going to f*** their party real quick. Oh. That was a bass just crushing one. <laughs> so we're not the only ones f***ing the party up. <laughs> I said the bass weren't far. All right, most beautiful lake I've ever fished on, last cast. One last bat bark from Byron. One last cast bark. said I didn't plan on making a video today but uh this lake was it was just too cool of a place not to share with you guys so I hope you enjoyed it we caught a few smallmouth had like three three and a half hours to give her all she's got but uh that's it we're gonna get back to camp might take a lake bath we'll see you next time hug you bear peace